three, two, one, let's go. What's good, family? Today is Sunday, April the 7th. My friends, it is another day the Most High has made. I pray y'all guys are doing well. I'm your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel. And today, we'll be looking at the WrestleMania 40 Rock Bell Ritual. Family, you don't want to miss this. But first, let me say thank you for tuning back in with us today. Guys, we love you and you're awesome. And if you can, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way, you'll be notified every time we upload an end times video. Now guys, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our creator, the Most High God, and his son, Jesus. And family, in my opinion, nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16, in which the word of God says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now family, that is the definition of true love right there. Now guys, to today's end times video. Let's go! Alrighty guys, so last night, the WWE had their 40th anniversary, or I guess you could call it the WrestleMania Jubilee, and the main event saw Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns and no other than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And family, I'm telling you right now, man, The Rock, he went full bell ritual for his entrance. Rock to Dwayne Johnson, we can truly smell what you're cooking. Now, The Rock Dwayne Johnson, he is one of the biggest stars in the world, hands down. Just not in wrestling. He's one of the highest paid actors of all time. And just like the majority of these celebrities, he's made deals to get where he is. And family, he's truly sowing his alliance and worship of Baal. Guys, what I'm about to show you is shocking and revealing. You gotta stick around to the end of this video for all this to come together. Now, family, The Rock's entrance at WrestleMania 40 was one of the most blatant rituals I've ever seen in my life. Before we break it down, let's look at the symbols of Baal worship real quick. So, what are the symbols of Baal? In ancient history, Baal has been depicted in many different ways, but generally it's like a horned bull, a helmet, a raised hand with a thunderbolt in his hand, and holding a long grain of wheat in the other hand, representing rain and vegetation. Now, family, that's why the U.S. stock market is represented by a bull. The United States, they seek to have a bail market. And family, remember that Thunderbolt part for later in the future. Now, one thing this don't mention is fire, which is also associated with bail worship. We saw that with the Usher Super Bowl halftime performance. So, family, we're about to break down Dwayne The Rock Johnson's WrestleMania 40 bail ritual. And family, I do this out of love. I'm not judging The Rock, just pointing out what's obvious. This is something that's followers of Jesus Messiah we can't just sit back and be quiet about. We gotta be like Elijah and confront these modern day prophets of Baal. So right off the rip, the beginning of his entrance, the whole place goes dark and all you see is thunderbolts in the back. And if you remember, thunderbolts represent Baal worship. But look at the next part. It lightens up a little bit and now the thunderbolts, they're going all through the screen, and you can see the fire begin to come up. And then it goes to this shot right here, and it's straight up flames. That's like really all it is. And then look who pops out of the flames. It's the rock. And then it goes to this shot right here. Now look at this shot. You got the thunderbolts in the back. You got the bold horn right there in the middle, in flames with the rock in the middle. And family, you see that little red dot right there? You remember after the Super Bowl, the picture that Biden posted with the red eyes? Guys, it's the same thing. Look at it. We'll get back to that later in the video. And then it shows The Rock holding this championship belt right here. Now, what do we know about golden calves? Look at him with the golden belt. And right in the middle of the belt is a bull. And that is the people's champion. That's what they call it. They're trying to say that Baal is their god. And you can see Rock right there in the flames with the bull belt. And family, in the lead up to WrestleMania this year, the Rock would stand in the ring and throw up that symbol right there. And family, apparently there was a lot of talk even before WrestleMania on why he was throwing that up. As the Rock was throwing up an L, while the people beside him, which is his real life family, all but the big guy in the back, were throwing up ones. Now, family, the one to the right where they throw up the ones, that's a messianic hand gesture all day long. 
And what The Rock is doing to the left is totally different. Now look at this image right here. That is one of the oldest statues of Baal worship they think they've ever found. It's the exact same thing. Now family, look at this next part. This is The Rock's custom championship. WWE sells replicas of this belt. You got the bull in the middle with the red eyes, the bell red eyes. Family, I'm telling you, none of this is a coincidence. Look at the Rock's Christmas ornament. There you got the bull, the golden bull at that, the golden calf. Look at the red eyes. Even the wrestling internet community chimed in on this. This comes from Wrestling World CC, and this was posted a few weeks ago. The Rock's bull has gained red eyes since his heel turn, and then it points out what's obvious. Once again, do you remember Joe Biden's Super Bowl picture? Guys, it's the same red eyes. And family, all this coming under the WWE banner, which has had its name thrown in the mud a lot lately with all the allegations that's been brought against Vince McMahon, who was the former owner of WWE and CEO. Little fun fact about this WWE logo right there. If you turn it sideways, look what you get. 33. A number we know that Freemasons and the occult love to use. And family, right before the Rocks match last night, which they ended up winning, I believe, this guy right here named Gunther dropped the Intercontinental Championship after holding it for 666 days. And this was just moments before the Rocks bell ritual, guys. It's all tied in together. And family, I also find it funny that the champion in the match, his name is Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, okay, listen to that. And he's held the belt for three and a half years. And they faced a man who used to call himself the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. And Cody Rhodes, whose story is almost identical to the prodigal son. And the Rock's tag team partner and cousin, Roman Reigns, calls himself the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And we know the GOAT is also associated with the occult. Family, it's a very twisted and a very blatant world we live in today. Keep on looking up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Now, family, let me leave you with some good news. And the good news is, nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus paid your sin debt on the cross. Our Messiah Jesus was born of a virgin and lived a life where he never once sinned. He lived 33 years on this earth and lived his entire life without ever once sinning. And the man who never sinned paid our sin debt on the cross. He was nailed up on the cross, had a crown of thorns put on his head. He was beaten and he was mocked. Guys, it often gets me that he was even beaten in front of his mother. He laid down his perfect, innocent life so we may live. He paid our sin debt. And the enemy thought he defeated Jesus because he was in the tomb for how long, guys? Three days, three days, three days. But guess what? Death could not hold our Messiah. He defeated the tomb. He defeated the grave. He resurrected and ascended to go be with his father, the Most High God. And guys, on this channel, we know he's coming back for us soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today can be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. And family, I'm telling you, the Most High God is faithful and just. He will forgive your sins. And family, that's facts. Well, family, hang in there. I love you. Keep your eyes on the sky. And once again, let me say thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it, and drop a comment. Because guys, it truly helps us out so much. And we do appreciate it. And if you happen to be new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And we'd be honored to pray over your prayer requests. And remember, no request is too small and no request is too big for our God. And family, that's also facts. And guys, we've been getting your packages in the mail for the outreach trip. Thank you guys so much, man. You guys are awesome. We're going to be able to make a big impact when we go down to Florida here in a week and a half. So thank you guys for everything. There's a few more items we can need. We got the Amazon wish list posted again. But everybody that's been praying and helping with this trip, thank you so much. We love you guys. And finally, family, if you want to make a donation to what we do here on the Watchmen Adam News channel, donation links are in the description box below. It's always greatly appreciated. Well, family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. Guys, I love you and remember, let's go, Arpazzo! Take care, and I'll see you with the Eclipse video tomorrow. Keep on looking up.